Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Process Automation Training by anubavtrainings.com. In the last episode, we learned about how to create and release your first SAP Build Process. In our today's session, we will talk about how to deploy your business process into BTP Cloud and what actually happens behind the scenes when you deploy the process. So if you're liking this video series, please like, share and subscribe the channel and put the link into the WhatsApp group of your team so other team members of your company can also take an advantage of this training. So let's get started and see how to deploy our process into the cloud business process. So we go back to lobby, which is the starting point for all the projects and processes. We open the project for SAP build process so this is our project you can notice on the top the id you can see here in the url this is a and uh, this is a very good secret about to know also the id of your process so i told you in the last class that it will be your data center us 10 is my data center my sub account address which is the trial account address then my project id and under that we have the process yeah that's the process id so that is how the ID is built and this is what we created. Now here we have the editable version. So I will switch to the released version, which is more of a stable version, which is ready now. You can create as many released versions as you want as and when you enhance the features and at any given point of time, you can deploy them in the production. But for now, it's time for testing and to be able to do that, we are going to first deploy this particular business process into the into the BTP platform. So we have got here this deploy button. I'm just going to click on that. I will choose public environment and say deploy. So you can see it will be created. So the deploying of this project affects trigger that we have already created, which is the API trigger. Yeah, it's just giving that. Okay, no issues. Click on deploy. So now what it is doing, it is basically packaging everything what we built behind the scene and then this business process will be deployed into the cloud and you can see the status it is deployed so it is mandatory to first deploy your changes in the cloud and then only you should be able to consume it yeah now once you deploy uh, once the deployment is finished you can actually go back to the uh, lobby and then go to control tower and go to the environments and this is the public environment and there you will find that our project is now available and it is deployed you can go to triggers and you will be able to see uh, an option to add a trigger you see manually you can add a trigger so if i click the actions and view then i can actually find the name of my process and then I can see an API, the URL to trigger my workflow. Yes, from an external tool, for example, from a Fiori app or from a third party application, Android application. And then we can also see the context. Remember last class I explained to you about context. So this is the context which somebody need to pass to be able to start my business process. So that you can also download and give it to the counterparty developers in another team who are willing to integrate this particular business process with their application. For example, a build or build app team or a Fury app team or a uh, CPI integration developer or to Android application or to S4HANA developer or to analytics cloud developers, you can give this.